Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom and for today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing video. As you see here, I've got the four World Championship decks from 2023, uh, Yokohama, Japan. Uh, we've got the Junior Division list from Xiao Tong Yen, the Lost Box Kyogre. The Senior Division list, the Lugia V-Star deck by Gabriel Fernandez. And the two Masters Division decks, the runner-up uh, Tord Reklev's uh, Gardevoir EX and the Masters Division Champion, Mew VMAX by Vance Kelly. So we're going to be opening these up, taking a look at what's inside each box. And then at the end, we're going to be doing a feature match between two of these decks. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so here's the booklet. It's got some information from the World Championships of that year. A bunch of cool pictures, winning deck lists. And yeah, I'll take a look at that later. Oh, here we go. So we've got a pin. Yokohama, Japan. Oh, we've got a pretty cool coin. It's going to be the backs of this deck. There's the Comfy. Here's the Kyogre. Code card. Set that aside for right now. Uh, what's this thing? Oh, I think it's a playmat. Uh, that's new. Did we have a playmat before? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not bad. All right. Okay, so the Pokemon list, we've got Kyogre, Comfy. Where's the rest of the Pokemon? A lot of trainers, a lot of energies. Here we go. Okay, so we've got Manaphy to protect your bench with its ability Wave Veil. Raikou, a really powerful attacker. Uh, to take knockouts against either Lugia or... Palkia decks because they are weak to lightning. We've got Greninja for draw power and also for hitting weaker Pokemon on the bench with its Moonlight Shuriken. Cramorant for doing some quick damage with its Spit Innocently attack. Dragonite to take uh, some big KOs with Dragon Gale. You can power it up pretty quickly with uh, Mirage Gates. Sableye, really strong attacker, spread damage around with Lost Mine after you get 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone. And of course, the Comfey package is going to be your main draw engine. Coming from Pokemon, load up uh, your hand with cards and also load up your Lost Zone. And finally, we've got Kyogre itself. Toward the end of the game, uh, use Aqua Storm to take multiple KOs by loading up your deck with a bunch of energy cards to be discarded by the Aqua Storm attack. So we have three different energy types Psychic Energy for the Sableye, Lightning for Raikou and Dragonite, and then we've got Water for Kyogre and Greninja. Let's take a look at the trainer cards now. Forest Seal Stone. Equip them to either one of the V Pokemon to search for any one card once per game with its V Star power. Pal Pad. Shuffle some supporters back into the deck. Heavy Ball. Just search out some Pokemon from your prizes in case you're missing anything. We've got Echoing Horn to take a, one of your opponent's discarded Pokemon, put it back on their bench, and then KO it with uh, either Greninja or Kyogre. Super Rod. Shuffle some Pokemon or Energy back into the deck. Lost Vacuum to get rid of either a Stadium or a Pokemon tool, and also load up your Lost Zone a little quicker. Energy Recycler. Save these for the end of the deck to recycle some energies back into the deck to load up the Aqua Storm attack. Nest Ball to search for some Pokemon out of your deck. Switch Cart to switch between Comfey, or honestly whatever you need to get into the active spot. Mirage Gates is going to be the main energy accelerator of the deck. Once you have seven or more uh, cards in the Lost Zone, you can search for two basic energy cards from the deck and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So a really powerful energy accelerator. Escape Rope for more, some more switching options. Battle VIP Pass, a really strong card in the format. It can only be used in the first turn of the game, but if you open with it, or if you can search it out, you can search your deck for any two basic Pokemon to add to the bench, so really powerful. Pokestop to Take some more item cards out of your deck by discarding three cards off top of the deck and keep any items you discard. Clara to recycle your discarded Pokemon. And then four, Chorus's Experiment, your other piece of the draw engine alongside Comfy to load up the Lost Zone. And yeah, that's a really quick look at the Lost Box Kyogre deck. Okay, so the same booklet as earlier. Set that aside for right now. Okay, here's the rest of the deck itself. 
Oh, and also the backs of these are different than the other one. This is the Lost Box deck. They have a, an orange back. The Lugia deck has a green back. That's pretty cool. Alright, so here we go. Lugia V-Star. One of the main Pokemon of the deck. Use its Summoning Star ability to bring back two discarded colorless Pokemon. Put it back onto the... Sorry, put it onto the bench from your discard pile. So let's find that Pokemon now. Okay, here's the Pokemon. Lugia V-Star. Here's the basic versions of it. Lugia V. And this is going to be the... Pokemon that you bring back with Summoning Star. Archaeops uses ability Primal Turbo. Search your deck once per turn for two special energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon. So this deck runs only special energy cards. So you search these out from the deck using Archaeops' ability and power up your attackers in any way you want. So we'll look through these energy cards later. But first, let's keep looking through these Pokemon. We've got a Pumpkaboo. Sorry, Pumpkaboo. <laughs> Use his ability, Pumpkin Pit, to discard any stadium in play. Mostly want to use this to get rid of Path of the Peak if they try to lock out your Summoning Star ability. So use this to uh, open up your Lugia play. Weird Deer, a really powerful attacker with its Psy Shield Bash attack. Does 40 damage for each ener energy card attached to this Pokemon. And also use Frontier Road once during your turn. When it moves from the bench to the active spot, you move, move all the energy from the other Pokemon to this one. So the Psy Shield Bash going to be hitting for a lot of damage. It's a really good uh, late game sweeper. Radiant Sarina uses the ability Elegant Heal to heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon once per turn. Mostly to be used against uh, Sableye if they try to sp spread some damage around on your side of the field. Slacking it's a really powerful attacker. Uh, hitting for 260 damage with its heavy impact attack. Although the ability can hinder it if you have exactly two, four, or six prize cards remaining. It cannot attack, but that's okay because we have a card that can help us out later on, so I'm going to set this aside for right now. Drapion V, use Wild Style, mostly just as a Mew VMAX counter with the Wild Style. Its attack costs one energy less for every Single Strike, Rapid Strike, or Fusion Strike Pokemon to play. So if you're playing against a Mew deck, they're going to load up their side with Fusion Strike Pokemon so it can attack for free and take on one hit KO against Mew VMAX and take an easy three prizes. Snorlax, a really powerful single prize attacker with Thumping Snore. Uh, loaded up with 3 energy, hit for 180 damage, which, I, which like I said, is a really strong uh, attack for a single prizer. And you can power it up pretty quickly using the Archeops abilities. And then Luminion, Luminous Sign to search your deck for any supporter that you might be needing. Okay, so now let's take a look at the special energy cards. V-Guard Energy, reduce the damage that you take from the opponent's V-Pokemon. Therapeutic Energy. So Pokemon attached with the Therapeutic Energy cannot be put to sleep, confused, or paralyzed. So you can use this with Snorlax. If you attack with Thumping Snore, you deal the damage and then it does not fall asleep. So a really good combo with these two. Gift Energy. If the Pokemon that this card is attached to is knocked out, you draw until you have seven cards in hand. So really good for drawing cards out of the deck. Jet Energy. Just attached to your bench Pokemon. It shoots into the active spot. And of course, double turbo energy just counts as the double colorless energy for the deck. It does reduce your uh, um, damage output by 20, but it's just a really quick way of powering up your attackers. So that's going to be all the special energy that can be searched out with Archaeops. And now over to the trainer cards. Choice Belt, increase your attack damage by 30. If you're hitting into a V Pokemon, Nest Ball to search out some basics. Ultra Ball, search out whatever you might be needing from the deck. Also a really good way of getting Archaeops into the discard pile to get back with a Summoning Star. Capturing Aroma. Uh, flip a coin if heads get an Evolution Pokemon. If tails get a basic Pokemon. Um, just try to find whatever you need using this card. Path to the Peak. This does shut off all the abilities of po rule box Pokemon in play. So you play this after you use a Summoning Star. And this is the card I was talking about earlier with Slacking. Use the Path to the Peak to turn off Slacking's ability so it can attack whenever it wants. Plus Path of the Peak, it's just really good against most of the other decks in the meta. Uh, Collapse Stadium. Both players can only have four Pokemon on their bench. So if you have one Pokemon that's uh, really damaged, use Collapse Stadium to just discard it from play if you have a full bench. Professor Burnett. This is going to be a really good uh, supporter in the early game if you have no way of discarding Archaeops from your hand. Use this to just discard him straight from the deck. 
Uh, Professor's Research, just a really strong uh, draw card. Discard your hand, draw seven. Iono for disrupting the opponent, also digging some more cards out of the deck. And of course, Boss's Orders, just drag up anything uh, from your opponent's bench to the active spot to take the easy KO. And that's going to be it for the Lugia V-Star deck. Okay, so once again, starting with the booklet. And let's see what else is in here. There's the Guard of War EX, the Code Card, the Playmat, another set of a coin and pin, and now for the deck. And these are yellow on the back, okay. okay so that's going to be the main Pokemon, Guard of War EX. Let's see what other Pokemon are in here. Manaphy, like I said earlier, protecting your bench Pokemon from attacks. Mew, from Celebrations. Uh, if it's in the active spot, use Mysterious Tail. Look at the top six cards of your deck and pick out any item card uh, that you find. So really good, especially in the first turn of the game. If you don't have any battle VIP passes, you can use Mysterious Tail uh, to search one out. Or really, whatever you might be needing. A rare candy, uh, a search uh, card like Ultra Ball or Level Ball. Uh, it's a pretty consistent card. Zacian V, it's a really powerful attacker. Storm Slash hits for 60 damage plus uh, 30 more damage for every psychic energy attached to Zacian. So you can load up a ton of energy using Gardevoir's ability to hit for essentially one hit KOs against anything. Greninja, like before, uh, for the draw power from concealed cards. It cannot attack in this deck because it does not run water energy, but it's at least very good for sending cards to the discard pile and drawing some more cards out of the deck. Luminion, uh, to search for your supporters. Cresselia, really good for sniping and also... Um, and Cresselia, really good for sniping and disrupting your opponent. Load up damage on your side by accelerating energy with a Psychic Embrace. And then Cresselia can take two damage counters from every Pokemon on your side of the field. And then you put all that damage onto one Pokemon on the opponent's side. And we've got the Ralts. Three of the teleportation burst ones. One memory skip one, uh, just in case you need to stall out your opponent, use memory skip. So you choose one of the attacks on your opponent's Pokemon. They can't use that attack on the next turn. So it might come in handy. And next, the four Curlia. Three of them are the refinement ones. Discard a card from your hand to draw two cards, similar to the Greninja. And we've also got the Mirage Step Curlia. In case you can't get these other three uh, onto the field fast enough, you can just evolve this one. And its attack lets you search out the other three from your deck and put them directly onto your bench without having to evolve. So, a really good way of speeding up the deck. And then we've got the Gardevoir. These are going to be the attackers using Brainwave. It does the exact same thing as the Sashin V. 60 base damage plus 30 more for every Psychic Energy. Plus you've also got another ability, Shining Arcana. Look at the top two cards of your deck and attach any basic energy cards that you find there to your Pokémon. And then you can just keep the other cards in your hand. So basically just draw two. A lot of draw power in this deck. And then we have the main Pokemon itself, Gardevoir EX, Psychic Embrace. Um, as often as you like, search your discard pile for any number of basic energy, sorry, basic psychic energy cards and attach them to your psychic Pokemon um, as often as you like. So really good for energy acceleration, but you do deal 20 damage to that Pokemon for every energy that you attach to it. So you got to be careful not to knock out your own Pokemon or get them within KO range. Now let's take a look at the energy breakdown. Got all the psychic energy, of course, that we're going to be needing. So 10 basic psychic energies. We also run a pair of reversal energies. You can attach them to an evol evolved Pokemon, as long as it's not a rule box Pokemon. So you cannot use it on Gardevoir EX, but it's meant to be used on the regular Gardevoir. If you're behind on prizes, it counts as a basically triple rainbow energy. So this one card can power up the brainwave. So you can attack right away in, in one turn in case you're not able to accelerate any more psychic energies. Or just another way of increasing the attack damage of brainwave without having to damage yourself 
with the Psychic Embrace and Psychic Energy combo. Okay, now over to the trainer card. Some more uh, Forest Seal Stone. Equip it to either Zacian or Luminion. For Star Alchemy, search your deck for any one card once per game. Pal Pad. Search your deck for some supporters to shuffle into the deck. Lost Vacuum. We've seen all these cards. Super Rod. Fog Crystal is a really good one for a Psychic deck. Search your deck for a Psychic Energy card or a basic Psychic Pokemon added to your hand. So search out whatever you might be needing. Uh, either Ralts, Mew, Psychic Energy, um, whatever you need. Ultra Ball, um, search for any Pokemon you want. Rare Candy, if you want to skip the Curlia stage, so you can evolve your Ralts straight into Gardevoir or Gardevoir EX. Got three Rare Candies. Level Ball to search out the Ralts or the Curlia because they both are under 90 HP. Battle VIP Pass, like I said earlier. Really powerful item card in the first turn of the game. Search your deck for any two basic Pokemon onto your bench. Collapse Stadium, again, limit your bench size to four. So in case one of your Pokemon is too heavily damaged, use Collapse Stadium to just discard it. Artisan, another really really good Stadium card. Uh, search your deck for any basic Pokemon and add it to your bench. Just So just in case you're missing anything, this card can search it out for you. You gotta be careful because your opponent can also use this during their turn as well. Uh, research to just draw some more cards of the deck. Boss's orders, bring up your opponent's bench Pokemon, and Iono for drawing and disruption. And yeah, that is the Gardevoir EX deck. Okay, let's get into the final deck now. Up again. The main attackers of the deck, Mew VMAX. And now for the rest of the deck. And for this deck, the cards are light blue in the back. You know what? This is actually my favorite one so far. I love that color. Okay, so let's take a look at the Pokemon first. Of course, we've got Mew VMAX as the main Pokemon. Three of those. Four Mew V, the basic form. Oricorio, uh, mostly just for its ability, Lesson in Zeal. All your Fusion Strike Pokemon, so basically everything in the deck, takes 20 less damage from your opponent's attacks. Meloetta's got a really good attack in Melodious Echo. 70 damage for each Fusion Strike energy. Uh, on your side of the field, so if you have all four in play, you can deal up to 280 damage um, from either Meloetta attacking or from Mew VMAX copying that attack. And then Genesect V, this is the card that holds the entire deck together. First off, we get the ability Fusion Strike System. So once a turn, you can draw cards until you have the, uh, as many cards in your hand as you have Fusion Strike Pokemon in play. So if you have a full board of Fusion Strike Pokemon, you, you can draw until you have six cards in your hand. And if you have all your Genesect in play, you can do that ability four times. It's it's really powerful for drawing, which essentially is what makes this deck broken. You have just um, insane draw power with these um, four cards. And not only that, we also got the Techno Blast attack. Does 210 damage for two metals and a colorless energy. The thing is, Genesect never attacks. You always use Mew to do the attacks. You use a Cross Fusion Strike. And with that attack's effect, you can copy the attack of any of your Fusion Strike Pokemon as Mew's attack. So you just copy the Techno Blast from Genesect to deal the 210 damage. So like I said, that's why this deck is... This card holds the deck together, because you use the ability to draw cards and the attack to take the KOs. So that's the Pokemon. The energy layout is pretty simple, just seven energy cards. Three double turbo energies. With these, you can load up the cross fusion strike energy requirements in a single turn. And four fusion strike enemy. <laughs> and four fusion strike energies if you want to increase the attack power of Melodious Echo. Okay, now let's take a look at the item cards. The Box of Disaster, you just got one of these. It's a Pokemon tool equipped into one of your um, Pokemon that has full HP, and if it gets KO'd in one attack, you deal 8 damage 
um, counters in recoil to your opponent. So at least they're more careful in taking a 1 KO against you. Choice Belt, increasing the attack power of your Mew's attacks by 30 if you're attacking into a V Pokemon. 3 for a Seal Stones, so equip them to pretty much whatever you want. To once, per, once per game, you Star Alchemy, search for whatever card you want. Pal Pad, search your discard for supporters. Escape Rope and Switch Card, just to move your Pokemon around the active spot. Nest Ball, to search for some more basic Pokemon to put onto your bench. Lost Vacuum, to get rid of your opponent's stadiums or Pokemon tools. Uh, four Ultra Balls, like pretty much every other deck, search for any Pokemon you want. Four Power Tablets, these are exclusive to the Fusion Strike deck. For each one that you use per turn, it increases your damage output for, by 30 points, so if you use all four of them, your attacks do an extra 120 damage that turn, so really powerful cards. cram matic another really good card, mostly just using the Mew VMAX deck. Discard this card alongside another item card, and then flip a coin. If you get heads, add any card from your deck to your hand. So you can actually use these in combination with the Battle VIP Pass, because like I said, you can only use these on the first turn of the game. If you draw these later on, they're going to be useless, but you can uh, use them as discard fodder for the cram to potentially get any card from your deck, so really good combo with these two. Uh, Path to the Peak to shut off abilities on your opponent's side. You do have to be careful not to shut off the abilities of your own Genesect, though. So you can set this down on one turn, turn off your opponent's abilities, and then coming back into your own turn, you can use Lost Vacuum to get rid of it and turn your abilities back on. Or you could bounce it with one of your other stadiums, either Lost City or Crystal Cave. Crystal Cave heals 30 damage from your Metal Pokemon, so your Genesect. Uh, heal damage off your Genesect every turn. Or Lost City. Every time you take a KO against one of your opponent's Pokemon, send that Pokemon to the Lost Zone so they can't get it back anymore. These cards are really good against... Uh, what are they called? The Lost Box deck. Get rid of their Comfy or their Sableye and they can't get them back from the Lost Zone anymore. Judge uh, for Disruption. Each player shuffles away their hand. Draws four new cards. Iono kind of serves a similar pr purpose uh, for Disruption against the opponent. Elisa Sparkle. This works in combination with the Fusion Strike energy. Choose up to two of your Fusion Strike Pokemon and then search your deck for up to two Fusion Strike energy cards and give one of each of those energies to those two Pokemon that you chose. And then finally, Boss's Orders, just to choose something on your opponent's bench to bring into the active spot and knock it out. And yeah, that's the Mew VMAX deck. Okay, and there we have it. That's going to be all the four World Championship decks from Yokohama from 2023. And like I said, I will be showcasing two of these in a battle. Uh, it's not going to be these two because they already battled against each other in the finals of the Masters Division. So for this video, we're going to be battling the Lost Box Kyogre deck versus Colorless Lugia. So stay tuned for that. And here we go. The battle has started with both players flipping over their starting Pokemon. On the Kyogre side, we've got Comfy as the active Pokemon. And on the Lugia side, we've got Lugia V as the active Pokemon. The Lugia side is going first, attaching a double turbo energy to the active Pokemon, and then using Ultra Ball as their item card. Discarding Archaeops and Professor Burnett from the hand for an, another Archaeops from the deck coming into the player's hand. It's going to be the, the main energy accelerator of the deck once it comes into play. And looks like that's going to be it for the first player's turn. Now over to the Kyogre side. The player uses Hisui and Heavy Ball to look at their face down prize cards and choose one basic Pokemon they find there to add to their hand. And they're going to be swapping out the Heavy Ball in its place. And the one chosen is going to be another Comfey. So now the player's going to be having two Comfey in play. It's going to be part of a really powerful draw engine in this deck. Alright, there we go. The next Comfey comes down onto the bench. And the player activates their supporter card, Clarissa's Experiment. They can look at the top five cards of their deck, choose to keep three of them in their hand, and then put the other two into the Lost Zone. Okay, and the two cards going to the Lost Zone are going to be Sableye. And it looks like it was a Switch card. And now the item is going to be Battle VIP Pass, one of the most powerful items in the format currently. The player can only activate it on their first turn, but they can search their deck for any two basic Pokemon to add to their bench. So the two new Pokemon coming down are going to be another Comfey and Radiant Greninja, just to add to the draw power of the deck. There's Concealed Cards coming from the Greninja, discarding a Water Energy from the hand to draw two cards from the deck. And here comes the first Flower Selecting from the active Comfey, like in the top two cards of the deck. Uh, keeping one in the hand and then sending the other one to the Lost Zone. 
So the card that was sent was a Water Energy. And now the active Comfey gets a Water Energy to pay the Retreat cost. And here comes the second one. Activating the second Flower Selecting of the game. The next card being sent to the Lost Zone is going to be... Uh, Escape Rope. And here comes the next Battle VIP Pass. Searching the deck for another two basic Pokemon. There's the fourth Comfey. And Raikou V. And now the player has a full bench on their first turn of the game. And they'll still have access to two more Flower Selectings. As long as they can retreat their active Pokemon. And yes, they... Activate Escape Robe now to get their third Comfey into play. There's the next Flower Selecting, once again looking at the top two cards. And this time to send a Psychic Energy to the Lost Zone. I believe that's five cards in the Lost Zone so far. And here's the next Escape Rope to send the final Comfey, looking at the top two cards once again. Okay, there's the Ability Activating. Okay, the top two cards, keep one, send the other one away. And the one being sent away is going to be an escape rope this time. And just off Pokemon abilities, that was uh, 10 additional cards picked up from the deck. Here comes the Pokemon tool. Forest Seal Stone equipped to the Raikou V to activate its ability. Star Alchemy. It's a V-Star power, so it can only be used once per game. But it does let the player add any card from the deck to their hand. And there's the mystery card chosen. They don't have to reveal what it is. And that's going to be it. Turn passes. It didn't attach any energy. Or declare any attacks, but they did draw through a bunch of cards in their first turn. And now over to the Lugia side, the player activates Professor's Research as her supporter for the turn. Discarding their entire hand to draw seven brand new cards. The player's going to be trying to draw into their Lugia V-Star. Let's see if they got it. And yes, they did. Lugia evolves into its V-Star form. And there's the item card, Capturing Aroma. The player flips a coin, and it is Heads. So they can search for an evolved Pokemon from their deck. They're going to be choosing another Archeops to add to their hand. Just to thin out the deck, because they're not going to be using it in the deck anymore. They just need two in the discard pile. Here's an Ultra Ball, discarding the Archeops that was just uh, picked up. And another Lugia V-Star to search another Pokemon out of the deck now. And the one chosen this time is going to be Snorlax, coming down to the bench. Snorlax is a really powerful single prize attacker with its thumping Snore attack. And here comes Lugia's V-Star ability. Summoning Star. Now the player can look at their discard pile to get back two colorless type Pokemon and put it onto the bench. And the two Pokemon are going to be Archeops. Each one has an ability called Primal Turbo. So there's one activating. The player can search their deck for up to two special energy cards to equip onto one of their Pokemon. So there's the first Primal Turbo equipping a V-Guard energy and a Gift energy to the active Lugia. And the second one equips the Therapeutic energy and also a V-Guard energy to the bench Snorlax. Okay, there's all the energy coming down. And that's pretty much what makes this deck so powerful. The immediate uh, energy acceleration from the deck thanks to the Archeops abilities. Okay, there's the attack. Taking the one-hit KO against Comfey. And Lugia takes the first prize card. Okay, back over to the Kyogre side. The second Comfey comes into the active spot. There's another Colress's experiment. Once again, looking at the top five cards of the deck. Keeping three and banishing the other two. There's the Manaphy and Sableye going to the Lost Zone now. The Lost Zone is dis different from the discard pile, as those cards can no longer be brought back into the game. Okay, now that the player has at least seven cards in the Lost Zone, they can activate Mirage Gate to equip two basic energy cards from their deck to their Pokémon. But they do have to be two different types of energy, so there we see a Lightning Energy and a Psychic Energy coming down to the right coast, so it is fully powered up and ready to start attacking. Okay, there's the... Uh Greninja's ability, Concealed Cards, discarding a Lightning Energy from the hand to draw two cards from the deck. And there's Flower Selecting. Looking at the top two cards, keeping one and sending the other one to the Lost Zone, it's going to be the Super Rod being sent away now. And here comes the Stadium, Pokestop. Let's see if the player's going to be activating it. Yes, they are. Pokestop discards the top three cards of the player's deck, and they get to choose... Uh, sorry, they get to keep any item cards of the discard, so the only one that was discarded at that time was a Switch card. There's the manual attachment for the turn to pay the retreat cost. And here comes the second Comfy into the active spot to activate Flower Selecting once again. This time it's going to be a Nest Ball being sent to the Lost Zone. And here's Switch Cart to switch Comfy out of the active spot to promote Raikou. And we should be seeing the KO this turn as Lugia is weak to Lightning type attacks. Oh, but first, here comes the Dragonite V coming down onto the bench, another really powerful attacker. And there's the item card Super Rod. The player can search their discard pile for up to three Pokemon or basic energy cards 
to shuffle back into the deck. And the three cards are going to be two water energies and a lightning energy being shuffled back in. Okay, there we go. It's going to be a Mirage Gate now. Getting one of the water energy and one of the lightning energy to immediately equip onto the Dragonite. So it just needs one more water energy to be fully powered up to start using its Dragon Gale attack. Just in case. And finally, here comes Raikou's ability, Fleet Footed, letting the player draw one more card from the deck. And there's the attack, finally. Uh, Lightning Rondo taking the one-hit KO against Lugia. And Kyogre now takes two prizes. The Gift Energy does activate on Lugia, though. The player now gets a draw until they have seven cards in their hand before they promote their next Pokemon. And here comes Snorlax now, it just needs one more energy to be fully powered up. And while it does hit for 180 damage, it is not enough to take the KO against Raikou. Okay, now the player activates a Capturing Aroma. It was... Uh, heads that time, so they get to search their deck for another Evolution Pokemon. Let's see what they get this time. It's going to be another Lugia V-Star coming into the player's hand. But they don't have any Lugia V to evolve yet. Okay, there's another Ultra Ball discarding Lugia that was just uh, picked up. And a double Turbo Energy... And now the player can search for any Pokemon from their deck, and it's going to be Slacking V now. Another really powerful attacker in this deck. Although it does need four energy cards to be fully powered up. Oh, but the player does have a dub double turbo energy to equip onto it by the manual attachment. And here comes both of the Archeops' primal turbo abilities to search the deck for up to four energy cards. So there's a Gift Energy coming down to the active Snorlax, a Therapeutic Energy... And a Jet Energy coming down to the Slacking, so both Pokemon are now fully powered up and ready to attack. Okay, so with uh, these cards, Snorlax will be able to hit for 180 damage. And thanks to the Therapeutic Energy, it will not fall asleep after attacking. Oh, but here we go, the player does have the Choice Belt to equip onto the Snorlax, giving it 30 extra attack points. So it should be able to take the one-hit KO against Raikou. And the player also activated Collapse Stadium. So both players can only have four basic, sorry, four bench Pokemon on their side of the field. So the Kyogre side had to discard one of their Comfy. And there's the attack, Thumping Snore, taking the one-hit KO against Raikou, and taking two more prizes for the Lugia side. Okay, back over to the Kyogre side. Here comes the next Comfy into the active spot, followed by the third core rest of the game. Picking up the top five cards, keeping three, and then sending a Palpad and a Battle VIP pass to the Lost Zone. Oh, and the player's just counting up how many cards they have le left in their deck. They only have three cards left. They're about to deck out. Here we see uh, Concealed Cards, discarding a Water Energy to draw two more cards from the deck. That means there's only one card left in the entire deck before they deck out. Here's the Manual Attachment. It's going to be a Water Energy coming down to the Dragonite to fully power it up. And here's the Switch card, so Calm Fate will not be activating its ability. So Dragonite should be able to take the one-hit KO. There's the Attack Dragon Gale, taking the KO against Snorlax. Although Dragon Gale also hits all the bench Pokemon on the Kyogre side for 20 damage apiece. The next Gift Energy is activated on the Lugia side, so the player once again draws until they have 7 cards in their hand. And now both sides are tied at 3 prizes remaining apiece. Here comes Slacking V into the active spot. It should be able to take the 1-hit KO against its Dragonite, as its heavy impact attack does hit for 260 damage. Uh, even with a 20 damage reduction by the Double Turbo Energy, that's still more than enough, as Dragonite only has 230 HP. Okay, the Lugia player activated another Ultra Ball to get another Snorlax out of the deck. Just in case the Slack King gets KO'd, there's another Snorlax in play. The Snorlax gets a double turbo energy from the hand, and there's a Primal Turbo getting a Jet Energy out of the deck to equip onto the Snorlax, so it is now fully powered up. So the Slack King will be able to take the KO against uh, Dragonite, taking two more prizes. So with only prize one prize left, the player's trying to set up their end the game by powering up this Snorlax to take the one-hit KO against anything. Okay, there's the attack, heavy impact. The Lugia side is to just one more prize. Okay, here comes Kyogre finally come down to the bench, and now the player activates Energy Recycler to search their deck for any, uh, for up to five basic energy cards to shuffle into the deck. And it's going to be only three cards chosen, three, sorry, two water energy and one lightning energy, and that's it. There's no more cards left in the deck. And here we see a Mirage Gate. Oh, and there's two Mirage Gate! So the player can get all three energy that was that were just put back into the deck and equip them onto the Kyogre now. So Kyogre is powered up to start using its Aqua Storm attack. Aqua Storm hits for 50 damage. 
times the number of energy cards that are discarded off the top of the deck. Although the player does not have a deck right now, they have to shuffle some cards back in. Okay, there we go. There's a second energy recycler. They can get up to five energy cards to shuffle back in. And yeah, there's all five. So Aqua Storm will be hitting for 250 damage to two benched Pokemon. But only taking the KO against bench Pokemon will only take two prizes. Oh, but here we go. An Echoing Horn gets a Lugia V-Star. Sorry, a Lugia V out of the opponent's discard pile to put onto the bench. And that should be enough to take the KO and the final prizes. There's the final attack. Aqua Storm discarding the five energy cards out of the deck to hit, to hit uh, Snorlax and Lugia for 250 damage apiece to take the final three prize cards. There goes Lugia. And there's the handshake. Kyogre is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.